In core two, we learned a way of expanding brackets like these very, very quickly. And that is using binomial expansion. So if we had 2 minus 3x to the power of 5, for example, then this is equal to this number, the 2 to the power of 5, plus 5 ncr1 times 2, so this number to the power of 4, so it reduces in power, times by the minus 3x to the power of 1, Okay, and we put a bracket around the minus 3x to make sure that we don't uh, muddle up that minus sign or the 3. And these two powers must always add up to 5. Plus 5 choose 2 times 2 cubed. So we reduce the power and increase the power. Okay, so remember the 3 plus 2 must be equal to the 5. Plus the next term, so 5 choose 3 times 2 squared times minus 3x cubed plus 5 oh, choose 4 times 2 to the 1 times minus 3x to the 4 and then you could have 5 choose 5 times 2 to the 0 times by minus 3x to the power of 5 but because 5 choose 5 is 1 2 to the 0 is 1 we just have that minus 3x to the power of 5. It's exactly the same reason why we just have 2 to the 5 there. That's 5 choose 0 times uh, 2 to the 5 times minus 3x to the power of 0. So the 5 choose 0 is 1, the minus 3x to the power of 0 is 1, and you're just left with that 2 to the 5. So there's no point in me writing it. And so we have, popping this into the calculator, 2 to the power of 5, so 32. Uh, then we have 5 choose 1, so 5 ncr1 times by 2 to the 4 um, times by minus 3, and that gets me minus 240, so that's minus 240x. Then we have this term, so 5 choose 2 times by 2 cubed times by minus 3 squared, and that gets me 720x squared. Then we have 5 choose 3 uh, times 2 squared times by minus 27, which is minus 3 cubed, so minus 1080 x cubed. Then we have this term, so 5 choose 4 times 2 times minus 3 uh, to the power of 4, so that's 810 x to the 4. And then finally, minus 3 to the power of 5 minus 2, 4, 3, x to the 5. Okay, so this is the full, complete expansion of 2 minus 3x to the power of 5. Okay, now, um, that's all well and good, and we could use the binomial expansion to expand anything that where this is a nice... Uh, whole positive integer, okay? So as long as it's, uh, well, we could do it when it's zero because that's just the trivial case where it's one. But if it's one, two, three, four, five, a hundred, a million, uh, 10 million, we can expand that out using the binomial expansion. However, what if that number there was negative? What would it mean to expand 2 minus 3x to the minus 5, for example? What does that mean? What does that look like? What if uh, we could expand uh, 2 minus 3x to the power of 1 third? What would that mean? Okay. And in both of these cases, and these are the cases that we're going to have to deal with in this section of call 4, um, what we find is that both of these uh, produce an infinite series of um, polynomials, effectively. One long polynomial that goes on and on and on forever. That's what we're going to be looking at in this section. Um, and I'm going to give you a rough kind of idea of where that comes from in the next video.